Residents of Goodwood, Tobago and the sporting enthusiasts on island will soon enjoy an $8 million modern pavilion. On Thursday, the sod was turned to signify commencement of this long-awaited sporting infrastructure. Caricia Douglas tells us more. At a small ceremony at the Goodwood Recreation Grounds, Vice President of the Goodwood Village Council, Wilfred Devines, described the village as a sporting community. He said the new pavilion, which they have been clamoring for for some time, would provide various opportunities for residents. We will be able to continue our village league that we have been struggling to, to, come, to, to carry on. You know, and when it rains, we have to run and, and shelter elsewhere. But we are thankful for the pavilion. We also see the benefits to our, our, our construction workers because we anticipate that when the construction starts, that they will be given some kind of preference on, on the project. Secretary for Sport and Youth Affairs Tracy Davidson Celestin also noted the project has been on the THA's agenda for many years. This community's commitment has really increased our determination to get this project up and running. And it is a project that has been on the drawing board for quite some time. Ever since I held the position as Assistant Secretary in the Division of Education, Youth Affairs and Sport at that time, and I think that was from 2005 to 2009. But at the end of the day, we are committed and we want to ensure that we provide comfortable and safe spaces for family members, for the fans and for the supporters. And the Chief Secretary of the Tobago House of Assembly, Ansel Dennis, said the Goodwood Pavilion is one he looks forward to as it is a space he once frequently used while being a cricketer. He joined the call for Tobagonians to make use of the many sporting facilities available on the island. Something to all of us, even the Cricket Association and the Football Association, we have a responsibility to ensure that those community organizations are once again operational and vibrant so that we can have a situation where every tennis court, every basketball court, Every playing ground is well utilized for this thing called sport. The project is expected to be completed by 2022. Caricia Douglas, TTT News.